Hi Naptime friends, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some alcohol inks on an all glitter background. So let's just jump in and get started. So this is going to be my background. This is just a straight up dud acrylic pour that I made. It was a pour with pure paint. And I thought, oh well, I'm going to add some crushed mirror to it. And um, it's actually like crushed glass and I'll be able to save it. That's what I was thinking to myself. And you'll see it just turns into a bigger hot mess, but I'm going to make it beautiful in the end. Don't worry. So I got this um, crushed mirror at Primal Flow Paint. They sell um, that on their website with all kinds of different other stuff for your resin art. So I'll link that down below. So I'm adding my crushed mirror, or my crushed glass as you can see, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter just to make it sparkle. And this is where I went wrong. I was like, oh no, I added too much glitter. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to cover the whole thing in glitter. So this is my holographic silver extra fine glitter from Michaels. I'll link that down below if you guys want to check it out. See, I just went in and sprinkled it all on. And then what I'm going to do is give this a resin top coat. And I'm going to do that off camera um, just to save time. But if you guys want to see how to do a resin top coat, I will link a video down below and put an iCard right here. Just click on that and that'll take you straight to the video. So here's how it's looking. And this is after I got the resin top coat on it and now I'm starting to do my alcohol ink. So this is just 91% isopropyl alcohol and I'm going to be using pinata alcohol inks in sunburst yellow and Baja blue and those two together are making a really fun green. I had already done a little bit of this off camera as you could see. I just didn't want to make this video super long but I actually did ink on this piece for about an hour. So I'm just going in with my heat gun and moving that ink around and you can see if you just add pure ink like this, it doesn't really move anywhere. It just kind of stays put. So if you want a really concentrated spot of ink, do it that way, but you really need the alcohol to get that ink to move. And you see, I tried to add some alcohol on top of the ink. I'm like, well, maybe that'll break it up, but it didn't really work out. So before you put your ink down, you want to put a good amount of that rubbing isopropyl alcohol down and that's going to make your inks flow really nicely. Don't be afraid to add the alcohol. Think of the alcohol as your pouring medium and, you know, it evaporates really quickly so you got to kind of work fast. But one thing I really like about alcohol inks is you can pick them up and put them down really easy. You know, if you are got a few minutes and you're like, okay, I'm going to want to do some art, that's a really nice, you know, perk to alcohol ink. It's just like, well, I can do a little bit and then stop, stop and come back to it. So see, just keep adding that alcohol and your ink. And I was getting a lot of green here. I was like not wanting so much green, but... It was just turning green on me, so I was trying to add more just pure blue, the Baja blue, but that's okay. I don't really use green that much, but I like the color. I just don't know why I never reach for it. And I'm wearing my respirator when I'm doing this. The alcohol is very stinky. It even is more stinky than resin, in my opinion. So make sure, you know, you're working in a well-ventilated area and you have your respirator on because it's, it's, a, it's a lot of smell when you're doing this much alcohol ink. So I'm just moving the ink around and here I'm kind of doing the edges a little bit. Make sure you get your edges. And I saw, I was inspired to try this technique by Glowfish Designs. I will link her channel down below. She did a really pretty piece um, like this where she did a glitter background and then alcohol inks on top of that. So um, check her out and then also Scarlet at Display of Color did one too. So I'll link her video down below as well. Be sure to go check those guys out too. So see I'm just going in and adding more ink. And alcohol inks you know are really fun because you can build them up as much as you want. And if you don't like it 
you can just wipe it away with pure alcohol. It'll come right off. It's not set in stone, which is one thing I like about inks too. And I'm no expert at alcohol ink. Um, I don't use them very much, but I really like using them, so I want to start using them more. It's definitely a little bit harder than it looks in terms of like getting nice lines because sometimes it just spreads out all over and has a mind of its own. But definitely don't be afraid to use that alcohol liberally when you're when you're doing alcohol inks because like I said, that's what's helping your ink move around. If you're if you don't have enough of that alcohol down there, your ink just kind of sits there and it doesn't look pretty. So here I'm just going in and taking my finger like I wanted a little bit of blue right there. And so I just put a drop of ink and then took my finger and dabbed it on. And this is how I did the edges. I just did pure ink around the border of the piece and made sure that everything was nice and covered. So what I'm going to do uh, after I'm done adding my inks is I'm going to spray this with uh, my favorite clear coat gloss spray to seal the ink in and then I'm going to give it another resin top coat off camera. I have so many videos of uh, resin top coats so I just didn't put it in this video because I didn't want to bore you guys like I said earlier. But definitely um, if you're new to resin art and you want to see how to do a resin top coat I'll link that video down below. I have a tutorial on how to do it. So I'm pretty much done with the ink. I'll bring in for a close-up, but look at how pretty that glitter is. It's just gorgeous. And that crushed glass gives it a really nice sparkle too, which I love. So here's a picture of the clear gloss spray that I used to seal it in. And I like to use this on my acrylic pores too. It gives it a really nice gloss. And here it is. After the resin top coat, I hung it up on the wall. Look at how pretty that glitter is. The holographic glitter is really nice. Next time, I think I'm going to use different sizes of glitter. I'm probably going to use like a chunky glitter and then the extra fine glitter too. And I'll use more colors too. But I think it turned out nice. What do you guys think about this one? Let me know down in the comments. I think it's really pretty. I love the sparkle sparkle. So I hung it up this way on the wall and this is the other way. So which way do you guys like better? Let me know. A or B? We'll call this one position B. Here's another little clip of position A. So let me know what you think. A or B? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all so much. I hope you're all doing good and you all have a great weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday for another video. Bye!